Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. His name is My Web, and guys, in this video, I'm just talking about how to integrate your all the citizen JS component in your web page. So basically, I start my Jam server. So I open it and click on the start button of Apache server and other MySQL database. Okay, now it's uh, opening. Yeah, and after that, I, I open my text editor brackets okay and yeah and I also I pin it into my taskbar okay pin the program to taskbar okay so okay I delete that because you don't need that okay now we have some CSS files and another some JS files so how to integrate into our index.php file or another files so i delete that okay I save it and open in my browser so i simply write in the url box localhost slash ecom okay and that's our hello world okay now i delete i delete the whole thing for writing before uh, from starting so slash doc type html for defined html5 version html after that head and after that body okay now in the head section i write a title title the title name is e-commerce okay and after that we include the CSS files of from here so we have bootstrap jquery jquery backslider and other things okay so I write the link hyper reference in the CSS folder CSS and after that uh, I'm choosing the jquery dot bx slider dot min dot css okay the relation is obviously a style set okay and after that the second one is hyperference in the css we have our ol dot casual dot min dot css okay the relation is a style set the third one is hyper reference CSS and after that does default all dot gradual dot default dot mean dot CSS okay or you don't need to do that but I'm choosing that style set after that we need to uh, link the bootstrap file so link sorry for that link hyper reference equal CSS and after that jQuery dot oops bootstrap dot mean dot CSS and the relation is obviously style sheet okay now I think we have uh, all the CSS file is included now the bootstrap jQuery big slider all the gradual okay Oh yeah, the another one. I write a create a, an, another standard CSS file. So I click on the, in the CSS folder and right click and click on the new file option and style dot CSS. Okay. Now again, I am going to the index.php link that file which is created by currently now so CSS and style and the relation is also a style sheet okay now it's time to include your JS files so from the okay before the closing of body tag I write the script tag the source JS okay the first one is your jQuery.js files okay so I click that 
and close it okay now the script source and the js we have our bx slider.min.js file okay now after that the script source is js and that's our bootstrap.min.js and close it and uh, okay the another one is before the before the bootstrap.css bootstrap.js file script source js and we have a bundle okay bootstrap.bundle.min.js file okay and another one is okay we have also a owl.carriage.slider so before the bootstrap okay don't forget it's all by sequence one by one in sequence method says js and after that all.carriage.min.js okay now or you can use the dot js file okay you don't need to use many file okay now okay now i close it and in the js folder i create a another file okay now i click on the new and save it into my js folder the, this name is main dot js this file is basically for us okay we can write our our own js methods or any functions in this main.js file okay so script source in the js we have main.js file okay press the control s button and check in the browser refresh it okay and yeah i write a h1 tag hello world okay press the control f button and check in the browser okay it's good when i write some classes p3 text center text white bg danger and display four okay now press the control s button and check in the browser if i set yeah hello world is successfully created and when i click on that it's my web plugin plugin extension of google chrome we have all the gradual javascript framework web framework bootstrap php programming language for that and that's our op operating system <laughs> i'm using windows 10 okay yeah that's a apache apache 2.4.2.3 okay and when you if you want to check your php code so you can simply write echo hello world okay and yeah and close it now press the control s button and check in the browser again press it okay here is your hello world which is written in php syntax so make sure your all the css and js file is in the sequence method okay the one by one don't break the line of that anything okay so now we meet in the next video take care bye bye and stay with me happy coding <laughs>